Hi guys, welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com. It's Josh here. Today, let's learn how a axial flow variable displacement piston pump works with the help of this animation. So please watch the entire animation and learn it. First, let's identify the components. Here, this is the casing of the piston pump. That's our drive shaft, which is actually giving the drive to the pump. There we have the swash plate adjusting valves. Then we have the swash plate itself over there in green. Then comes the pistons, which actually reciprocate inside the swash plate. Okay, so that's the cylinder block in blue, which rotates. So the pistons are arranged inside the cylinder block, and they are free to slide over the swash plate. So what we have further, that's our outlet over there, and the inlet at the top. So uh, let's see the animation and learn further. So that's the position where the pistons are arranged. You can see when the cylinder block rotates, the pistons also rotate together with the cylinder block sliding over the swash plate. So let's see. So that's the piston being arranged inside. The dotted mark shows how they are arranged inside the cylinder block. So that's our inlet and outlet as I have already explained. So you can see the piston, the inside view, how the pistons are placed inside the cylinder block. So when the valve gets pressurized the pressure is getting into the valve result in the swash plate angle to change so we can see when the swash plate angle changes the piston is actually moving back you can see that the movement of the piston back which result in a suction at the top the piston moves back and at the bottom you can see the uh, swash plate is moving towards the front so that's the change in angle of the swash plate over there so we have more number of pistons arranged. So you can see when more number of pistons are getting arranged, the top pistons are moving towards the back as per the swash plate angle and the bottom pistons move towards the front due to the same angle. So I am releasing the pressure as a result of this, the swash plate becomes vertical. So when here we have a vertical swash plate or at a 90 degree, there is no flow happening inside a axial flow variable displacement piston pump, but it becomes variable according to the swash plate angle when it increases or decreases so how the cylinder block and piston rotates let's see that here you can see it's rotating over here the cylinder block rotates so it's a single piston that i have shown in it's rotating but there is no reciprocating motion for the piston over there because the swash plate is vertical over there so there is no flow happening and uh, let's see the other part of it so i'm pressurizing uh, the valve so that the swash plate angle can be changed you can see it's in 90 degree when the pressure hits the swash plate angle changes uh, to 80 degree you can see a decrease of 10 degree over there so the top the swash plate moves back and at the bottom the swash plate moves towards the front and have a look at the piston see the arrow mark the piston is actually moving back and that's the reciprocating motion happening as a result of that a suction happens at the top you can see at the top the suction happening over there and at the bottom position you can see it's actually moving towards the front because the swash plate is pushing it towards the front so there will be getting the discharge so as this particular uh, cylinder block is rotating continuously the pistons at the top end will create a suction and the pistons at the bottom end will create a discharge so you can see it once again ankle increases see the movement of the pistons at the top uh, the piston moves towards the back at the top so we have a suction and at the bottom we have a discharge so it continues as the cylinder uh, rotates and when this angle increases we'll have more suction and more discharge and when this angle decreases we have less suction and less discharge that's why it's called a variable displacement pump so this variable displacement depends upon the swash plate angle so let's see it again suction is happening discharge is happening suction is happening discharge is happening at the bottom so that's it so we have more number of pistons at the bottom and top you can see how it exactly works we have a suction at the top and we have a discharge at the bottom depending on the swash plate angle so that's how a axial flow variable displacement piston pump exactly works the variable displacement happens according to the difference in the swash plate angle so i believe you got an idea about it for more video animations and technical tutorial videos in engineering please click the subscribe button you can like comment share to motivate our team see the description for more details thanks for watching this video have a great and awesome day